Hey beauties, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I don't even gotta ask y'all if y'all miss me because I know y'all miss me. But yeah, by the title of this video, y'all already know what it's finna be about, y'all. We finna package some orders. This is my first packet orders video ever since I launched, okay? So today is Monday, it's June 3rd, and it's 8.32 in the morning. I'm trying to get these packages to the post office early. I would have got them there earlier, but I had to record a story time because, yeah, I, I got to work. I, I got to do what I need to do. But yeah, we finna do what we need to do. I'm finna show y'all the setup and everything, everything going on. We already prepped all the boxes last night. So I'm finna show y'all. So if y'all was wondering if y'all wanted to shop, we still do have some products left. This is as of Monday, okay? Y'all seeing this video Wednesday, but you know, as of Monday, this is what we have left so far. So yeah, this is our packaging table, y'all. I told y'all I already have all the boxes set up from last night. So we basically ready to go. We got our little packing peanuts. We got everything we need. Over here, we got where we print our orders at. So we got a little desk right next to the packaging table. So we could just uh, 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 uh. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so let's go get all of the butters. So this is where we keep the good old butters at. In the clean, empty fridge. Everything in the deep freezer. So, you know, we set these up for 24 hours. They've been freezing. You know, we got the freezer bag, so they stay cold. I don't want y'all order to ship at, I mean, I don't want y'all order to melt at all. I want it to be solid, like a rock. So, let's get these orders. Y'all bought half the inventory. Yeah, this is your big one. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show y'all what I do. I already put the person's name on the box and order number and what they ordered before I print out the label so I don't get anything messed up. So in small businesses, when you first open, it's always an experiment. You always find things out. So now I know. I, I started with two labels. One was, you know, waterproof. The other one was also waterproof, but you see how, you see the, the water because it was a little frozen, but it's not smearing. Now you see this label, how it's smearing a little bit. So this was the experiment. So these labels here, I will not be using these anymore. I will just stick with my regular labels instead of ordering this. So now I could go ahead and take this back out of my Amazon cart and get the ones that I did use. So I did the experiment. Small businesses is all about experiments. What works for you, what don't works for you. Everything will not be perfect at the same time. No, I'm not gonna feel bad because the it's smeared and it didn't. No, I'm not gonna do all that. So. We put our butters in these thermal wraps here. We're going to do the first order first. So, my first order ever since the launch. Her name is Julia. And she ordered a baby girl. Julia, if you're watching this, thank you. So, because Julia ordered a baby girl, we're going to give her a sneaky link. And a vanilla ice sample. We're just going to stuff them in there with that. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. See how that's in there? We're going to put it in the box. Now, in this box, what's going to go in this box? They're going to receive a thank you card. Well, my business card. A thank you card. They're also going to receive a motivational card. So, I have these little cards. So you see, say, I'm so proud of you. And also, I have stickers. Y'all know I always send good sticker gems. So, 
focus on what could go right. So I'm going to put her sticker and all her stuff in a box like this. And in her box, besides the pack and slip that's going to go in here, we're going to take the pack and peanuts and we're going to just place them like such. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do for all packages. Oh yeah, my packing peanuts, they're scented. I didn't buy them like that, I did it myself. But y'all get the drift. So that's her order, right? The order two is, I guess her name is Sadika. Sadika, if you watching this girl, thank you. So we're gonna do the same thing. Sadika ordered a hair butter. So we're gonna put her butter in there. And because she didn't order no body butters, we're going to give her a sample of the baby girl, the vanilla ice, and a sneaky link. So if she like one of them, she could just buy it instead of buying it and not knowing if she like it. Right? That's smart. This one says, laugh more, worry less. This could like brighten up someone's day. So that's why I like to, you know, a little sticker and a packing peanut. And I have everyone's name written on the box so they don't, I don't get any order confused or anything as such. So that's looking really good so far, right guys? We on this side, so I'm going to move the camera to this side. Okay, so this order, his name is Rashad. That's why he had the little black box and he ordered um, a clear water men's body oil it smells super good so we're gonna put it in a plastic wrap and we're gonna wrap it up make sure the lid is on tight wrap it up and i don't really have a lot of stickers for guys so i'm gonna just give it the fresh prints and then yeah I ain't really even think about that. Okay, this is order four. This is Brandy. And Brandy lives in Spartanburg because she ordered local delivery. So she ordered a baby girl and she ordered a strawberry body oil. So she ordered baby girl. We're going to give her vanilla ice and a sneaky link. Put that in down there. So when y'all see this video, make sure y'all emptying this out so y'all can get y'all samples out of here. Don't just throw it away without looking in it. Okay, moving along. So the next, Althea. So this is Eye Candy by Lily. She ordered two vanilla ice body butters and two hair butters. So we're going to put it I'm going to give her a sneaky link and a baby girl. Okay, so this person, I guess, is it Sana? Shana? Son? I'm not sure. But they order plain chain. So y'all know the routine already. That's our plain chain for sensitive skin, dry skin. But it has coconut oil. So we working on behind the scenes making a sensitive skin one that don't have coconut oil. Oh, she had plain, oh, she has sensitive skin. Cause I was gonna put, I am literally all about branding my business. That's something I wasn't really focused on 
the previous times. But no, I'm focused on it now. When you open this box, I want you to know. Embrace and covers. I want you to know who this came from. Feel me? If you can't afford customized packaging, get your, your sticker logo printed out. And also get you some some tape with your logo on it from Sticker Mule. You could do all that, boo. So we package our first six orders. So this is what we gonna do next, y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all over here with me. So we gonna go to the first order ever. So create shipping label. I made them in sample. Yeah, it's in box three. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the weight for it. So we're gonna take out our scale. We're gonna zero it out. Close it a little bit. So we're gonna be on the safe side. We just gonna say 11 ounces. It ain't gonna charge much of a difference anyway. So we're gonna say change that to ounce. And then we're gonna change it to 11 ounces. So right here it should show you the total of everything so this should say you would not be shipping any lithium batteries and any hazardous materials so we're gonna buy the shipping label and we also want to print the packing slip so we're going to change it to four by six print with shipping label print document A few minutes later. Can y'all believe I've been packaging orders since eight thirty this morning, y'all? It's going on one and I'm I'm almost done, but it's like, do you see my room? This is horrible. I'ma just sit y'all here while I package the last couple of these orders. I'ma put y'all back here actually. And I'm recording some content for my um Instagram. So Okay, y'all, uh, how many more orders do we have? Let's see. Shit I 
All right, y'all, it's time to clean and get busy. Y'all, look where I put these damn body bars. I can't believe my actually broken. I got some here. Y'all. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But yeah, I gotta get these to the post office. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I didn't, I, I didn't think about that. I don't know what to put them in. Anyway, because this is like summer clothes, so they gotta separate this anyway. Y'all, look at all these orders, man. Can y'all guess how many orders is in this bin? It's 28. 28. Feel me? I'm gonna go to the post office. I'm gonna get back to y'all real quick because let me freshen up. Y'all, it's packed in here. I should have bought my business cards because people was like, what you said? Mm -hmm. oh, what's all of that? It's skincare. But I forgot my business cards. Oh, my P.O. I could go check my P.O. box while I'm here. See if the beauty sent me anything. Exiting the chat. Beauties ain't sent me nothing. See, when I check, y'all don't send me nothing. But when I leave it there forever, y'all be like, I sent you something a week ago. Scan my goddamn packages, lady. Look at my son. Packages. <laughs> yeah, she act like she was so annoyed taking the packages. Like, why you got so many packages? Girl, I'm important, boo. But y'all just met somebody here. She was mad cool. She sell Yanni stuff. Okay guys, so let me get on here real quick and talk to y'all. I'm probably gonna give y'all like a little outro. Yes, this video is ending already because listen, 
I've been working tirelessly, okay? I went from the weekend to actually creating the body butters to, listen, I haven't had no sleep. When I tell you, I've been up since yesterday, 10 a.m. It's Monday, June 3rd. I've been up since yesterday, June 2nd at 10 a.m. I have not been asleep. I've been up all night. I've been working on reels. I've been um, doing story time. I just recorded story time this morning. Like, I recorded one the other day, but then I'm gonna, yeah. It's a lot. I've just been everywhere. Just. Oh, it's a lot. And then, like, I'm very grateful. But I was not expecting to get so many orders. Like, I really was only expecting, to get, like, five orders. Like, when I first ever launched my business in 2021, I got, like, three orders the first day. Like, and then every day after that, it was, like, one order. Like, real slow. The second time... That was Embrace Charisma. I got about, let me see, probably about nine, ten orders. And then it was like three, four a day or whatever like that. But this time, y'all, 28 orders. Really 30, but two just came in this morning when I was packaging everything. So, you know, processing time. They got to wait till tomorrow to get theirs. But, y'all, 28 orders bro i was literally in here packing i thought it was gonna take so quick blessing really i was literally in here packaging from 8 30 this morning y'all till what time was it when we got to the post two o'clock two o'clock y'all i am tired like i am so dog tired but i swear to god on my soul it don't matter if i am dog tired I'm st I still have to stay up for at least another two hours. Like I know y'all see my eyes. I'm I haven't ate. I'm just <laughs> I'm just tired. But like I have to edit and get this story time up because <sighs> they've been on my ass and I'm just over it. And it's like yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't even think I should be making this outro with me being this tired because I might just say the wrong shit or something. Like, I don't know. But I just know I'm extremely tired. I'm extremely grateful because y'all did the damn thing, y'all. Half the products just gone. It's gone. I do have one, two, three, four. I have five new body butters coming out, y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all the date because I don't want to. I'm going to just wait a little bit. But I'm hoping for Juneteenth. It depends on when my butters get here because sometimes she be taking a while to ship my butters. Like, I don't know. But yeah, that's really all I had to say, y'all. I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a couple of people packaging. I just don't have the energy right now. I'll probably do a detailed packaging video another day, but y'all, I'm tired. And I gotta edit. So yeah. I'm sorry, my spirit is down. Thank again, thank you everyone for shopping, supporting my small business. The next day. The right thing when them demons start talking, when you begin to start flowing in the Holy Spirit. Hey, my beauties. Hey, my beauties. So yeah, I know what y'all seen yesterday. It was so chopped and screwed. Y'all had so many orders to do. I was working on no sleep. I was up for like 24 hours. I was going crazy. Burning myself out. So you know what I did? 7 o'clock yesterday. Took a shower. Went to sleep. And baby, we up. It's 2.40. Brush my teeth. Wash my face. They would have had to do. I did run and get some um, crab legs. Because I, I, I really want some crab legs. I really want some. So, I'm going to show y'all that. I'm going to show y'all everything we did. But I just want to say thank y'all everybody who supported the business. You know what I'm saying? Thank you to all the orders I got. So far, I think it's what? Like 34 orders. But yesterday, I had to package up 28. And that was a lot to package. It was a lie. Y'all seen it. Y'all, I was going through it. I had to keep cutting the camera off. And then I had to make rails. I had to do a lot. But we back and we better, y'all. It is Tuesday, so this video will be up tomorrow. It's June 4th. It's 2.40. So, I'm going to take y'all in my kitchen real quick. Oh, let me show y'all my room. Because I, I switched my room around. Y'all know me. So I put like all my, hold on, let me cut the light on so I can see. 
I put all my business stuff in this area. So when I'm doing my business, I can focus on my business. And this corner over here is more like my personal corner. You know, I can do my YouTube, my editing. You know, I put my bed back in the middle and stuff like that. And this corner, I don't know what I wanted it to be for for right now. So I just put this like my um some of my containers packaging containers i think this really just gonna be my inventory corner and i'm gonna just put all the packages that come in because i did just order a lot of stuff from amazon and plant guru so i can start making some new butters for y'all so i think i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just leave this corner for all my new packages or sponsors that come in like this right here this is like a sponsor this is a sponsor, but this person did not get back to me. Like, I don't understand how y'all be wanting me to promote. It's not a, it's none of the beauties either. It's a regular business. I don't know how they be wanting me to promote, but then when I say, what's to put in the description box? What's the website? They never get back to me. I've been waiting a month for a reply. Like, I don't know what to do. But anyway, so yeah, that's how that's corner looking. Hold on, let me clean my camera. Yeah, there it go. So this right here, you know, that's my little vanity and everything going on. That's where I sit. So sometimes, you know, I do my thing. This is my bed. I moved it to the middle because I just felt like, you know, I barely opened that window. So it might be. So this is how the room look. Closet. Yeah, I know I fixed my closet up a little bit. So I basically put all my purses up here. Like I got like a shelf in there where I put, you know, all my stuff. Purses that I don't even wear up there. This is more hair stuff. So when I'm doing my hair or something, I could just boom, 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 boom. So that's there. Then on this side, I just got, you know, my robes hanging up. My little clothes that I put in there. Down here, I got some clean laundry. Everything that's not folded is clean laundry. So, I got to fold that. I got some of my YouTube equipment and books and stuff in there. And my shoes back there. But that's how the closet looking. Over here, you know. Got the TV. Got my little roses. My candles. I ran out. Y'all know I had like eight of them. I used them all. I got to go re-up on my candles. And some cookies that blessing stole all of them and left these here, you know. And this is what my beauty art by Nisi sent me. It's super cute. I leave it up here. My kids be coming and moving and trying to put it in their room. No, that's mine. I love that. I love that. Go shop with art by Nisi. And yeah. So this is what we have going on for the update so far while y'all seeing it. Well, as of Tuesday, I have five baby girls left. That been a favorite one so far is going. This been the next favorite. How many of these I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Got 11 Sneaky Links. That been a second favorite. Hair Butters. That been about the third favorite, I would say. You know, so hair butters, I got what? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I got ten hair butters left. Plain Jane. I got a lot of plain Janes. That's for the sensitive skin girlies. Vanilla Ice. I still, I think I got like 23 of these. I just checked the inventory. I got like 23. So like people like Vanilla Ice, but you know, the girls really like colors. So this is for, you know. The people who just want it to be white, plain. So they still buying it, but you know. Strawberry oil. We have how many? Three, six. We have eight strawberry oils left. And for the men, we have ten left. No, we have nine left. Yep. So that's what we have left so far until I make some new ones. Y'all know I'm waiting for my order to come in. Because I just ordered everything today. We still got samples. I put samples in all the orders. So basic, So check y'all. Make sure y'all checking y'all insulated bags. Because it is samples in all of y'all orders. And um. Yeah. That's what we got so far. This is my packaging table. I just put my 
little bed skirt over there. Washed it because you know. But I'm going to get some um, pink tablecloths. So that will be. So under here, we have my daughter hiding. Move blessing. We have our extra packaging. So our boxes and stuff. Pink boxes. We have some USPS boxes that somebody happens to order every single thing and it can't fit in one of the cute pink ones, then it will have to probably go in that. But it will still be branded with my packaging tape and everything. <laughs> then we have some extra, you know, poly mailers and stuff. So, yeah, that's how that's looking so far. And today, y'all, I want to put something on the grill. So, we're going to go out there in the cute little backyard and we're going to see what they get. A bullshit? A bullshit? So, y'all went and got some snow crab legs. This is $80 worth. They are expensive, but these ones is big. They not the skinny little clackhead ones, feel me? So, I got a couple clusters of that. Then I got, see, y'all don't even know. I got some frog legs. That's crazy. I know y'all like, ew. My uncle in New York, he put me on. I ain't never went back. See, it's like fried chicken when you fry it. But because I'm not eating any more fried foods or oils, I probably throw it on the grill. Then I got these huge tiger shrimps. I got 15 of these. These are huge. But I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do with them. And we're going to throw these bad boys on the grill. Then we're going to steam this. And me and the kids going to have like a little seafood day. So yeah, beauties. All in all, life has been going good. I would say, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just coming along the way I want it to come along. And like I'm super happy that I decided to open back up my business because it really humbled me. Like I'm not gonna lie, my first time when I um my first time ever when I opened my the Key to Black Beauty in 2021, I literally only got like three sales that first day, and then probably like one or two sales every day after that. Like the business didn't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So then, when I closed it down, I started brainstorming. What am I doing? What can I do? So when I opened Embrace Charisma, that went good. But nothing has went good since Embracing Charisma. Like, 28 orders? 28? Y'all love me like that? 28? And the orders is still coming in, y'all. It's still coming in. A couple of people wrote me like, please save some. I get paid Friday. I get paid Wednesday. And I'm like, I don't know. So, I'm just super excited about that because, like, yeah, you you know, your girl been working hard behind the scenes. And I'm going to need that story time channel to put some respect on my name. Because they be like, girl, you not consistent. You ain't posting no stories. No, I'm being very consistent. I'm on my vlog channel consistently. I'm over there on the business channel consistently. I, I'm just not telling my business right now in no story time. So now it's, oh, girl, whatever. F you in the business. I don't care. Y'all see me when y'all see me. But I've been trying to be very consistent. But I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in that healing stage. Where it's like, Charisma, do we really want to keep going back and reliving this old shh? Or do we just want to let it die out and move on? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I took a vow. You know what I'm saying? So I got to do what I got to do. It's like I took an oath to the channel. So now they like, girl, you can't go nowhere. We own you. It's like, God damn, I can't catch a break. I'm telling them, if y'all don't see me over there, just click on the vlog channel. No, we don't want to watch the vlog channel, Charisma. We don't want to see you be positive. We don't want to see you do good things in life. We want to hear about your ratchet past. Tell us about somebody who cheated on you. Tell us about when you had a fight. Come on, let's be negative. You see, that's crazy. I can't be mad that I done, um built the negative-ass fan base. 
who always want to hear some toxic shit because my shit was toxic and that's how I started. I can't be mad. That's why I made a separate channel. <laughs> because I don't want to be toxic anymore. My past is very toxic. So yeah. Let's clean our hands. Let's start with that. You better be cleaning your hands before you touching people's food. You know what I'm saying? Clean them hands up real good. Now, what we gotta do is, these shrimps are huge. Like, look at these shrimp. Look at these big ass shrimp, bruh. These like, these like my hand size. Like, these are huge, bruh. Yeah. And I noticed that they didn't even cut it to clean it. So y'all, we gotta cut it. Because who eating a doodle? Not me. I'm not eating a doodle. Ooh, so we take it off, and then we take a knife, and we go down the back of that thing, and we split that thing open like that, like that, like that, and then we open it up, and we grab the zoodle, and we throw that away, because we don't want to eat that. Now, if you're just taking the skin off and eating it like this, and you like the zoodle, that's cool. That's your, that's your prerogative. I don't want the zoodle. I don't even eat the doodle and crabs. Who be trying to get me to, oh, the doodle, the best part. I don't want to eat the doodle. You eat the doodle. I don't want to eat that. You eat that. My kids don't like the doodle. We don't want to eat the doodle. Yeah. But yeah, we've we been on that grill basically like for the past two weeks. My grass looking real good. I let it grow tall. I let my grass in the back grow real tall and fill out. And then I went over it with the lawnmower and now it looks perfect. If you didn't see the story time, just go check it out. Because look at the background. Just, it was perfect. I had to record back there. I was like, oh yeah, I need I need somebody to see this grass. Because who said men only cut grass? I needed people to see that. I should have recorded me cutting it. So y'all could be like, ooh, ah, yeah. See, some doodle was orange. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh-uh. 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 I know it's a fly somewhere in here because I hear it, but I don't see it. I think the fly want this dildo. Fly, you ain't no way you right next to my gym now. There's no way. And I could have even spray you with the fly spray. Because I would have sprayed the peoples and, and the food. But I'm going to get you. As long as you don't fly over here, we good. We good, Derek. We good. Okay, y'all. We got the shrimp all nice and clean. See? It's looking real good. But before we season that, I'm going to just go on ahead and get the rice ready. Damn, it's really summertime. I got these things. Fucking fruit flies and that. Like what the hell? Ugh. 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 I can't fight them niggas. I'm the bout little shorty. She a vibe. I'm the bout little. I'm gonna have to throw this in a washing machine immediately when I'm done. I'm actually wash it twice. Now that I think about it. I'm going to wash it the first time, then I'm put it in with the second load, wash it again. Because I'm serious about my only business shirt that I have. I need to make me some more. But yeah. How y'all been doing though? How y'all summer been? What y'all been going on? What y'all been having going on? Y'all doing good? Y'all have any vacations planned? What's y'all summer plan? Is y'all step kids coming over for the summer? Because I know you dating that man with the kids. Mm-hmm. Make sure he see his daughter this summer. Make sure. All right? Because you don't want us looking at you sideways. 
If he's taking care of yours, he can take care of that kid. Alright. Yeah, we watching you. Make sure. I bet not see all your kids at the pool with 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 your step chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A man a package deal too. Just like a woman a package deal, so was a man. You know that man had kids. You know it. Don't act funny now. Oh, here she go. She be dressed and ready for school. I don't know where she be going. You ready to go to school, mama? Mm -hmm. That is great. August can't get here fast enough. Huh? August can't get here fast enough, boo, because you ready to go to school and so am I. Excuse me, baby. Yeah. I'm making us some yeah. sweet food. Yeah. So we can go ahead and set up this big pot too for the um snow crab legs. Cause you know they already cooked. All you really gotta do is heat them up. So we're gonna let this boil for about 10 minutes until it hit that boil. And then we're gonna drop the crab legs in there for about a good four to five minutes. Cause you don't wanna overcook it and then it be mushy. So yeah, well that's going, huh? Yeah, he'll be back soon. So while that's going on, we're gonna season this this water right here, this crab water, with a little bit of obey. And we're gonna season these shrimps as well. We're gonna throw a little obey on them things. We're gonna get some garlic, feel me? We can do a little bit of Cajun. Don't do too much, cause you know, if you grilling it, you're gonna taste the flavor. So don't, don't overdo it. A little bit of red pepper. And where is my, um, okay, we can do lemon pepper. We can do some lemon pepper. And these is big shrimp. We're gonna do one pack of saison because you cannot go wrong with the saison. And that's how we're gonna do that. And we're gonna take this crab water and put it on the stove. I can't believe I'm, te I'm, I'm it look like I'm giving y'all a tutorial. I swear I'm not. Then we gonna wash these hands. I gotta go food shopping. Unfortunately, this month we're not gonna do Sands Club because I'm still kind of bulked up on everything. We probably only gonna get about five things from there, but really I'm gonna keep it in the local supermarkets. You know what I'm saying? So, get my little fruits and vegetables, my, you know, stuff like that so we got a couple of videos that's gonna be coming and then also this month i don't know if the video is gonna be this month but i know we recording them this month we got a couple things going so i want to hit the zoo so we're gonna have a zoo date we're going to go skating well they're gonna go skating um i do want to do bowling um, I'm thinking a lot of fun things to do with them that I have wrote down. Oh yeah, a picnic. We actually gonna do a picnic. I wasn't just gonna do it in my backyard, put a blanket down, but I wanna do it where there's a park so they can also have fun. I'm, I, I'm also gonna take them to the pool and then during like the end of the month, I'ma let them do their summer shopping and stuff. Y'all could go with them to do that. Because yeah, all of the revenue from the vlog channel what I do with that is, I just go ahead and give it to the kids. So whatever we make on the vlog channel is theirs. So they said for this month, they want to take their money and they want to get their all their new summer clothes and stuff like that. New bathing suits, even though they got like three, they can still fit. They still want new ones. So I'm going to let them do what they do. And that's that. 
but that's what keep me disciplined to keep posting on the vlog channel like keep not only do i like to post on there but i also know i'm doing this literally for my kids you know what i'm saying like yeah but yeah we have a lot of vlogs coming up a lot of good ideas hopefully i'm staying on schedule sunday and wednesday i ain't upset y'all yet on the vlog channel probably one time when i went missing that was in february but the story time people they be like girl where the stories like and i be like girl i don't feel like talking about that like i'm on to bigger and better but that's something i signed up for that's something i started i created so i can't get mad at the outcome and then i also have a problem I'm going to take accountability because I'm grown. I also have a problem with consistency. I have a problem with saying I'm going to do something and not delivering at that said time. But this is no excuse. I also have four children to deal with. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot. Just me. You know what I'm saying? The mental capacity of dealing with everything. Trying to come through for everybody. Like, I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Beauties hit me up. Yo, please teach me how to edit. What apps? I'm I'm just giving away all of these gems, you know, that people telling me I should sell. I don't want to sell because they my beauties. I want them to be good, you know? Like, but it be a lot. It be a lot for my mental. So I pick and choose which what I want to battle, if that makes sense. The vlog channel is just so nice, peaceful over here, positive. So I love it. Storytime channel is like every time I tell a story time, whoever I'm talking about, if it wasn't true, these people would not be hitting me up, threatening me, wanting to, you know, do all of this stuff. So it would be like, a lot come behind them. A lot come behind them. But I'm not going to lie like it don't pay the bills. <laughs> Word. I'm always going to tell the truth. You feel me? That's one thing I'm going to do. Saying that, all in all, I learned, all money is not good money. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I know a lot of y'all gonna be like charisma really but just hear me out I kind of feel sometimes I feel bad for starting a story time channel because even though I've been through these experiences sometimes I feel like I took that channel and I weaponized it like against my enemies like anybody I'm talking about like some of my beauties they go find them people like they be like yeah you mess with charisma we pulling out we it be a lot behind the scenes that y'all don't even know that be going on. I deal with a lot. Yes, baby? No, baby. I'm cooking some food. Okay? But it be really a lot that I be dealing with. But I'm a strong person. So I just... And then I have this thing where I shut down. Like, if something is too much for me, I just shut down. Or I'm very hard on myself. Say I say, okay, I'm supposed to post a story on Monday and I don't I can't post it till Tuesday. I will get really hard on myself and I would never want to post again because I'm like, damn, I let them down. I told them Monday and it's like majority of them understand, but like it be the twenty percent of them that you said Monday, no, you don't deliver, no, you're not consistent. This is why I don't like you. Da 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 and I just be reading the comments just laughing because there's nothing I could do but laugh. Like this is why I'm not saying anything anymore. If I post, I post. If I don't, I don't. Word up. I'm not going to give you no date, no promise. And I can't deliver because anything can happen. I could be like, yo, my daughter just broke her arm or something. They could be like, no, you got an excuse. You need a post. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, I don't get it. I don't get it. But again, here's where accountability coming. I started this. This is this what I started. And I have an issue with starting things and not finishing it. No, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. Definitely. But do I need to take mental breaks? Absolutely. Will I take them without accent? Absolutely. Are y'all my parents? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, let me stop. But yeah. Like I said, I don't got no beef with y'all on none of these channels none of them but i'm i'm growing faster than what i thought i would grow i'm talking about mental wise not number wise i'm grass i'm growing way faster than i thought i would grow i guess it took me to turn 30 for me to put things in perspective like uh-uh 
This is toxic. I don't want to do this. But I also understand the other aspect of it. You know, people have written me in my DM and say, Charisma, you changed my life. You saved my life. I was going through something with this man, and I listened to your story. You was going through the same thing, so I did what you did, and it got so better for me. And I just want to thank you, and please keep coming out with these experiences. This young girl is going through things. You know, be breaking my heart though. When I get them DMs and I open it, and and the girl in there be like, "Hey, I'm 16 years old. I look up to you." That will be breaking my heart, cause I be like, "Damn, you already going through it at 16." I really hope you watching this, even though I tell them all the time, wait till you get 18 and come to my channel. Don't, uh-uh. But people is really learning from this. Like, they really taking this in. Oh, she was dumb. We cannot do that, you know? I just pray and hope everybody get through their things because I did not know that I was, I had an impact like that. I thought people would just, when I first started YouTube, I'm not going to lie, like I said, I started it for fun. So I thought people would just come on in and they'll be like, yo, you dumb as shit. You was being a whore. How many kids you got? You got four kids? You got how many baby daddies, girl? Like, what are you doing? Like, you're dumb. So you was with him, chasing him for all these years. How many times he showed you he didn't want you, dummy? Like, are you stupid? Nobody came to me like that. Probably about 10 people. Of the whole three years I'm doing YouTube, probably about 10 people. You know, everybody was coming to me saying, Oh my God, I've been through that. I've been trying to find a solution. Oh my God, we got the same story. Oh my God, he did me that way too. Oh my God, I watched this and I went home and I left him. I'm like, I did not know me being so dumb could be something positive for y'all. So, <laughs> motivate y'all to do positive things. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I love when I started, but at the end of the day, sometimes I still feel like I weaponized it a little bit. But I just want y'all to know the experiences. I don't want y'all to hear it, get mad at whoever did it, and go find them and DM them and threaten them. And now they're hitting me up. Like, please tell them to stop. And I can't. I have no control. Like, it's crazy. Like, once the beauties find something out or somebody did me wrong, they're not stopping. And that's crazy when you have an army of strangers behind you. I love y'all to death, but it is what it is. Like, I adopted y'all as my family, but it's like a... Sh sh a army of strangers behind you coming behind you like what don't talk to charisma we not playing by charisma i never had that and it's like sometimes i don't know how to take it i just be like it's sometimes it be too much and sometimes y'all literally lift me up when i'm down feel me like y'all literally i could be feeling so down i don't want to post i don't want to do nothing i just want to lay there let time fly I want to do absolutely nothing. And I can go to my comment section. People be like, oh my God, Charisma, you're such a great mother. Like, you're really breaking the generational curses. Don't think it's going unnoticed. We see you. We see you growing. We see you growing. We see you this. And I be like, I thought I wasn't doing nothing. I thought I was still far behind. I'm over here stressed, crying. And the people like, girl, you doing great. What are you talking about? Get out your head. Because y'all know I live in my head and stuff. A lot of things go on in here. But yeah. I just want to let y'all know that. I definitely appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Even the negative people who leave crazy comments. You know. But yeah. Like the ones who come on and be like, girl, you fat. I said that. I know that. I'm, I've embraced that. Okay. And when I'm ready to do something about it. You'll be on, you'll be with me on my journey to do something about it. But as for right now, I'm going to remain fat in front of this camera. Right now, there's nothing I can do to change that. And I can't let you run me off the internet or run me off of my channel because I'm fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I be, I'm bald and fat. That, that's a double, that's two. Like, and I'm still okay. I'm confident enough to come on here and talk to my people. Okay? Cause there's a lot of people that's hiding from cameras cause they so big. No, I want you to see this big back. So when it disappeared, you be like, yo, Charisma, I remember you had three backs, yo. Now I got one. All right. Just saying. But yeah. So we put this rice on low. 
seafood water ain't boiling yet. These shrimps ain't really sitting right by me. I need some black pepper in there. It is no pepper in, in uh, It's not enough. Pe nah, I need a little bit of black pepper up in there. Because it's not peppering for me. Come on, pepper, come out. God damn. Pepper, where is my smokehouse maple? That's what I really, my smoke, what is it called? Smokehouse maple seasoning? The go, my go-to. Especially when you grilling, put this on the meat when you grilling. I'm actually not gonna go and put this on the grill because yeah, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> I leave that to the men. I don't, mm-mm, mm-mm. Absolutely not. And my dad at work. Who who the hell gonna be over here? Like, come on, dad, come put this on the grill for me. Nope. We gonna grill it, but we gonna grill it on the stove. This the first bad boy. So this gonna be blessings crab. Oh, he's missing a leg. It's probably in there. But this gonna be blessings crab, and we gonna put that in there. And then we gonna pull out another one. Dang, it's all of these missing legs. I need to go get my money back. You know we eat these damn crabs just for the legs. And you over here gonna take my legs and still charge me for them legs. Let me see if my legs up in here. Talking about, uh-uh, legs ain't up in here. She owe me two legs so far. Mm-hmm, two legs. Uh-uh. We eat the we eat snow crab legs about once every three months. They too expensive. This is this is this is my reward. This is my reward right here. I, I did good. I yeah. Come on now. Oh yeah, if y'all don't go follow me on my Instagram page, my business page called Embracing Charisma. So y'all can see all of the new drops. So y'all can see what's coming out, what butters is coming out, what we working on. I've really been working on my reels behind the scenes, scheduling them out so I could just be disciplined. So it really don't be me posting on Instagram. Well, it be me, but I don't manually do it right then and there. I schedule them out. Like, I schedule three reels a day. So far, the account is growing. I'm getting sales from it, so I know it's working. And remember when I was just sitting here and I was telling y'all, like, oh, my first two businesses, they really wasn't getting no bread like that, like, wasn't getting no sales. And that's and this one is 28 orders. The first day, I was like, what? But the thing I did different is, see, this time, when I'm making reels, I'm not being so salesy. Go buy this. Go buy this, two for five, 30% off, hurry up, hurry up, sell ends. I'm not doing that how I used to do that. Now I'm releasing informational reels, reels behind the scenes. How do a small business owner look? What are you doing? What's your point of view? How do you package your orders? What products do you use in your products and why? Explain the product. What are the benefits of this product? Do you have results for this product? Let me see how you do this. You get what I'm saying? That's what I started doing. So now I will sit in a notebook and I will ask myself 20 questions. If I was a person scrolling and I seen one of your body butters charisma, all of the questions that I have, I write them down. So I write them 10 questions, 15 questions. You could do 20 for the whole month, like 20 questions. And then you make reels and videos answering them questions. Like, what is body butter? And you explain. You can even do a voiceover. You can write on the screen. Put your body butter in the background while you're piping it. All of that. Like, information. They want to they wanna engage. They, they want to feel like, oh, I'm going to feel comfortable purchasing from you. I don't just want to go buy your body butter. It's... 30 other people right now selling body butters. I could just go get this. So what am I gonna get it from you for? What 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 do your product do that benefits me? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you my heart on money, but what's gonna come out of it? So that's what I've been doing differently. I've been, you know, scheduling my reels, writing down information like I just did one. For example, I put point of view. Everyone out enjoying their summer while I'm home packaging orders. 
I show myself packaging orders, doing a happy dance because that was my last order of the 28 and I was super excited. I was packaging for four hours. I could also use this reel and I could delete the POV, all of that, and I could re-upload it again another day and I could say, after packaging 28 orders or a small business owner after packaging for four hours i could say anything like that you get what i'm saying they like to see cute behind the scenes i noticed like oh show them how your shelf look where you put your stuff where's your stuff set up at how you make your stuff let me see it let me see it spin it for me let me see if there's any roaches in there spin it like that's what i've been doing y'all i've been you know i'm not salesy no more if i was salesy y'all would have seen already 30 30% off discounts already. I swear to God. My father used to be like, girl, you gonna do a sale every day? You ain't gonna make no money. And I didn't. I didn't make any money when I did my last two businesses. You know why? I was too salesy. So yes, the people was coming in and buying, but they was all buying at a discount. So I wasn't getting no profit. I could, I didn't have any money to get any more shea butter and make more. You know, I only released one time or two times and that was it. This time, I actually have the means because I'm not being salesy. I'm giving them information. And that's another thing in your emails. Okay, you could send out, I say a, sell, a salesy email probably once a week. But that's it. Monday through Friday, they don't want to see, oh, get 10% off. Oh, the butters are running low. Hurry up. They don't want to see that. Give them information in your posts. Why should I invest in this hair butter? What is this hair butter going to do for me? What products you got in this hair butter that's going to make me want to try it, make me want to buy it? What are you doing different? What's in your hair butter that's different that the other girl over there don't got in her hair butter? Hmm? They, they want to know that. When do the packages ship? You know what I'm saying? You need to be sending a, a newsletter at least once a week. When do the packages ship? Monday through... Through what? What time? So if I order before then, I can get my package shipped then. But if I order then, I'm going to have to wait there. You get what I'm saying? They want information. They don't want to see 10% off. Hurry up. Get it. Hurry up. Five left. Hurry up. I was doing that the last two businesses, and it's annoying. I will literally unsub email unsubscribe from you if you do that every day. Send me a 10% off discount. Hurry up and get the butter. Girl, I was planning on getting about the next week when I got my check, but you want to keep doing that now. I don't want it. See what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do too much. When you, when you have a good product, you let that product sell itself. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to do anything. Okay? Just give the people information, interact with the people, answer their questions, and they're going to go and buy that product. You don't never want to come out your mouth and say, hey, go buy. No, they're going to. Just give them the information that they're looking for. Get it? Yeah, that was just a free business class. <laughs> Maybe one day in the future I should start offering some business. Nah, uh -uh, no. Mm -mm. No. Uh-uh. No. But yeah. Okay, y'all. So this conversation is for the beauties who own a house or know a little a bit about a lot. Because I just got off the phone with this lady. Okay, so... My whole thing was, okay, so by the top of 2025, I wanted to put, I wanted to get my own house, right? I know they have different programs, different grants. So I had went to the bank and I was asking them, because, you know, a lot of these houses, the banks own, you know what I'm saying? People are just real, real estate, you know what I'm saying? Realtors and stuff like that. But the bank's own, so I went to the bank first, and I'm asking them, like, what can I do to do this? And they basically was telling me, like, yeah, they have HOA programs, they have this and that, but with you, you have Section 8, so you have to go to Section 8. So I called the Section 8 lady to talk to her about it, and I'm like, listen, how can I enter in a program where I can, you know pay the like basically like a rent to own and stuff like that and she's telling me because i'm on section 8 i have to go through them and they will have to like pay the mortgage until i own it but that will be a 15 year program she said minimum 15 years minimum i said i don't want to be with y'all for no more 15 years i'm trying to get off by january 2025 december 2024 or something i'm trying to get my own home I can rent to own, I can pay more, I could do what I need to do with my own funds because technically the way that this year is going, 
the way my revenue is going up, the all the different business and things that I'm doing, Section 8 won't be wanting to be bothered with me because they're going to be like, girl, you're not low income. You have the means. You can just go ahead and rent your own stuff. So before all of that happened, I'm trying to make it a way where I can just divert into this homeowners program or something. But they won't let me in there because they tell me I have to go through Section 8. So the only way is I will have to get rid of the Section 8 first, then do all of that. But, you know, the Section 8 is like my backup plan just in case. The homeowner thing. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, do y'all get what I'm saying? I really hope y'all get what I'm saying. Because, I promise it's getting older. All my kids need their own rooms. My baby got her own personality. She don't want to look to the side and see toys. Harmony, she's into art. She likes her artworks. Bless me, drawing on her little famous artworks and stuff. And, you know, I'm just, I just need a house where each person has their own room. Where I have my own office space and I don't have to make my bedroom an office space. Because I feel like I'm at work 24-7. I could be laying in the bed watching TV and I look at my office stuff and be like, Oh, now nah, I got to plan another butter. I got to do this. I need space. I want my, my son to have doors on his room where he could scream his game with his friends. Like, I want a lot. And I'm trying to do things. I'm not trying to rush it. That's why I'm trying to tell myself I want to be in some type of home, own a home. Even if I got to buy land first and then, you know, get the home. I don't know. But y'all comment below, tell me everything that y'all think I should do. Would the only step be me just letting go of the Section 8 and then going about my day? Or will I keep it up until, like, I need help. Like, please, if you're going to write paragraphs, write whatever you need in the comments. I need y'all to tell me what should I do. Because this written is just not for me anymore. The Section 8 is just not for me anymore. I want to expand. I'm tired of giving them my income every six months. Because, again, the food stamp video, you know what I'm saying? When that girl wrote whatever she wrote and I was saying, well, they just caught on. Well, yeah, I had to do my research. And basically, the taxes came up. Because they seen, you know, I made this on YouTube and this and that. They started asking for all of this stuff. So they approved me for six more months. But they said after that six months, if you, if basically, after the six months, I have to prove my income. If it's, if basically, if it's higher than the 2300 whatever she said, then I will no longer qualify. And it's higher than that. So it was like, so I got six good months. That's why I had to buy a deep freezer so I could stack this food up. So I got six good months. So still get these benefits, these food stamp benefits. What about the Section 8? Is they going to catch on? Oh, she not catching, she not getting food stamps anymore. Let's cut her off. I'm just trying to find a way to get me a house. I don't, I, I, I accepted the help. I love the help. Y'all helped me all three years. Thank you, Nana, I guess, for leaving this to me. But I want to just go ahead and let it go and let them give it to somebody who's in need and who actually needs it and actually really need help. Like, I know I need help, but somebody else need more than me. Yeah, I know it's somebody in the streets right now with their baby, and they need that voucher. So, if I could just feel good about it, oh, I gave it up, but I know it's going to somebody in need. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, comment and tell me, because i just been wrecking my brain, making calls, trying to figure out. Because I need a bigger space, y'all. I need a bigger space. I seen that when I was packaging them 28 orders. I said, baby, I hope I pray this business continues to flourish because I seen a building that I want to get, but I am not, I don't want to get a building just yet. And I don't have my home. Like I need my home first. Then I can work on getting my little own building for my business. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's really all I had to say. I need y'all to answer that for real. Like, for real, for real. So, we gonna try. I have never grilled no frog eggs before. I always fry them. So, I really don't know how these gonna taste, y'all. And I'm kind of scared. Because, like, ew, what if it's chewy? I don't know. I don't want to think about it. So, what I'm gonna do is, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up my, I'm gonna cut up my onions. Put them in the pot. 
put the shrimp in the grill. I'm gonna show y'all that part though. Let me get my tripod and stuff. And then yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all. Okay, we ready. Out, so I just wanted to be out. So this I'm gonna is scratch my, my pot up with this knife. Straighten my hair. Oh, I'm watching my girl Saria rain. Quick weave, leave in condition for curly. Y'all need to get into it. To I, I love watching some vlogs. Right she younger than me and she motivate me. And Word up, especially when it comes to business. Some right there, this looks so <laughs> much better. Please don't ever play with that girl because she is not one of them. Period, you know, girl. Do my, um, but back. yeah, I'm going to put some music <laughs> over this and y'all just going to watch it. And I'm really excited to do that. Okay, y'all, so this is the ending result. We got the fresh, nice yellow rice, the good steamed crab legs, feel me? And then we have the nice grilled shrimp. You see that little frog right there? Yeah, they fell apart. But we had the nice grilled shrimp. Flip her so you could see her. Yeah. And my kids, they don't want shrimp, only blessings. So that's why I got a lot of those. And yeah, we about to feast. So I'll see you in the next video.